And now for something completely different. All right, Metalomaniacs. Well, I tell you what, there's something in the air here tonight because we not only just got through listening to our first behind-the-scenes pre-release listen to the upcoming outing from these cats, but we got him in the studio to talk to us on Zoom as well, man. What's up, Frankie? How you been, brother? I'm good, man. I'm I'm happy to be back, man. Happy to be back, and I'm happy to, you know... For all you guys to listen to the tunes, man, I'm just, I'm just glad, man. It's, it's 2022, man, coming out with a new record. Yes, it's just amazing for me, man. So I'm happy to be back. Well, what a good time in the world, man. I, we were listening to it. Here are some of the remarks. So you know, some of the remarks that just flew around the studio while we were listening to this, man. Um, this album announces spring has arrived. That was one of the things that was said. Uh, Scully said this is already my favorite album of 2022 right now. So there you go. There's that. And then uh, another remark was said, man, this is going to destroy people when we see it live on stages. So, man, fucking exciting. That, it, literally, we just got through listening to it, man. And for those who do not know, the this is my main man, Frankie, from Kim's side, who have this brand new release coming out in 12 days called Common Sense, man. And fucking, fuck yeah, dude. I'm excited as fuck. I, this is such badassery, sir. Um, I'm, I'm happy that you guys liked it, man. I mean, to be honest, it's, it's always nerve-wracking to put out a new record. You know, um, I, it's, it, you know, this, 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 this type of interactions, man, like, you know, people listen to the record, you know, once it, it comes out and well, it's not, it, it's not out yet, but you know I mean? Is that, that, that feeling that, that sensation is always, it's always great, man. And, and it's always nerve wracking, you know, just, you know, having people listen to it. So well, I'm glad dude, that you guys liked it, man. We've talked in the past. You, you came on the show in 2019, actually, uh, literally, I think 11 days before um, inequality came out, which is another yeah. album I loved. We played a lot of that here on the show, man. Big, big fan of that as well. But uh, that was 11 days before that release, and here we are roughly that same amount before the next release. So I appreciate you, fuck <laughs> out of you coming to hang out with us for this shit, man. Yeah, man, of course. I mean, it's, it's always fun to do these things, man, especially with you guys. So how am I not going to come back? I love you, brother. Well, and dude, I got to <laughs> tell you, man, this is a fucking riff monster. This is a riff monster. There's no relent. There's no letdown. There's no... From the very beginning of this, we we literally were ju- running around the studio breaking things from the very beginning to the very end, man. So, dude, home run, brother, home run, my friend. Oh, uh, uh, dude, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I mean, that's that was the whole point of the record. I mean, it was making it a little bit more, I guess, in your face and and having riffs, you know, for days, man. That's that's that was the part. So, uh, I'm I'm glad that we, you know, we we, we can we can you know check it check it out, man. Oh us. man. <laughs> Put a big check next next to Riff Monster, man. Riff Monster, <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, we were talking a little bit before we actually went on air about it is a, still a crazy time in the world, man. But <clears throat> but like I said, when we were listening to this album in here, a couple of people were like, dude, this is spring. This is the soundtrack to springtime. This is the and not just springtime, but springtime 2022. The spring emerging from literally two years of winter. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Somebody was joking earlier that it was like the Game of Thrones, man. Like, you know, Pretty winter much. is coming. Yeah, we've been in fucking winter time for two years, it feels like. <laughs> it almost. came and never left, man. It came and never left. God <laughs> damn. Well, dude, spring has been announced, man. Spring is coming is our new man- mantra. And, dude, <laughs> dare I say it, common sense might may very well be its soundtrack, sir. Uh, well, I, I'm hoping that it turns out to be the soundtrack of, you know, fucking 2022, man, not just the springtime, but the whole thing, man, because, oh. you know, yeah, this past two years, man, I've been, a, you know, I've been, they sucked for, you know, I guess for every band out there, man, it, it's just, oh. it's just, it, it, it sucked, man, I mean, like, you can't be out, out, you know, on the road, I mean, don't get me wrong, man, doing virtual shows, it's, it's fun and, and, you know, and all that shit, but. It's not the same. You not need to have same, people. Brother. You need right. to have people. You know, next to you. You know, jumping around and shit like that. You need that energy. You know, you got to feed off of it. So, fuck yeah. We we had someone tell us recently, man. <clears throat> web shows are to live experiences what jerking off is to sex. You know what I mean? Oh, it's pretty just, much, yeah. yeah right. it's, 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 it's like watching porn, man. It's the exact same thing. It's the, it's the exact same thing. You need the light shit, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> right man and it, it is it's got a shorter window of temporary satisfaction you know what i mean so. yeah man i mean <laughs> and, I, and and get, don't get me wrong i mean i i i enjoy doing this shit and whatnot and you know for people i mean i mean we have to connect with people but it's just like me watching fucking metallica back in the 90s man i mean it's it's the exact same thing i mean I, i'm like oh that's great but you know i don't i'm not there to you know to witness this you know so right yeah it's not the same brother you, well and let's be honest Metal more so than even, in my opinion, I guess, maybe I'm biased because I'm a metalhead, but 
But metal is a demands a live performance, man. You can kind of listen to pop on the radio. It's the same fucking thing that you're going to see on the live show for the most part. But metal is different, man. Metal has an energy live. You know, metal is a feed off of your fellow metalhead thing live, man, that I think we've really been missing so, so terribly much these last couple I mean, of years. just just the fact that there's no mosh pits, man. I mean, you can't, you can't do a mosh pit here. I mean, in the living room with your cat and your dog, man. But, you know, it's not the same thing. You're being, being out with your friends and, you know, fucking jumping off stage, man, doing stage diving and shit like that. It's just, it's different, man. So, you know, Scully stopped moshing with me here in the studio. She, she said it's always just what, I, what I'm trying to use it as foreplay. So... <laughs> <laughs> Again, not the same. Not the same. No, it but, ain't the same, man. It right. ain't the same. <laughs> well, do you have any plans? Are the, I, I know that you know Europe seems to be on the on the caboose of opening things up right now. But how how's Costa Rica right now? Are you guys kind of starting to see some normalcy return, or or is that yeah? Still- so actually, is you know we're starting to get back to normal. We played some live shows last year. You know, uh, actually in December it started to open up a little more. And uh, we had some shows with, with fucking mushrooms and whatnot. But um, the last one that we played was back in December 18th. It was a, it was a little fest that uh, friends of ours organized. And, uh, you know, we were just going to play with uh, DRI, actually, uh, March 12th. But the, the guys uh, actually decided to cancel the tour on this side of the world. They decided to pull out. and uh, Fuck me. Yeah, they're not going to come out to Central America anymore. And uh, they're just going to stay, apparently, in Mexico and the U.S. And, um so that show we got, I don't know if it's canceled or postponed. We haven't heard it yet, but I mean, we just saw the thing on Facebook that there wasn't, that there wasn't going to come down, but, uh, we are, we're moving out to, uh, Nicaragua, which is a country next, you know, next to us uh, on the 26th of March. Uh, we're going, we're playing some shows here on the 20th and April as well. And, uh, we're also playing Colombia in Mexico, uh, in May and June. So we're staying for the most part on this side of the continent in Latin America. Cause you, as you said, you know, um, well, uh, we've been to Canada before, but Canada's closed, uh, going to the U S is just a hassle for, for us Latin Americans, to be honest. And, uh, Europe is closed. So we're sitting in this part of the continent and most likely we're hitting, we're, we're going to try to hit Europe, maybe either at the end of the year or early next year. I mean, I know it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be brutal because of the winter and whatnot and all. I mean, the um, amount of bands are going to be torn probably, but <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do. Right. Fuck yeah. Well, that, you know, that's an interesting, um, I guess, an interesting for a metalheads, it's a good dilemma, I guess. But uh, yeah, as, as a course. member of a band, I, that is something to question. You know, all of these bands have kind of been, you know, the natural progression of releases and that sort of thing has led to where, you know, a band will go on live and these guys are in the studio and blah, blah, blah. But, like, everybody's about to hit the world at the same fucking time right now. It's about to be like, gates are open, boom. You know, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, well, dude, I mean, it's, it's a good thing. It's a bad thing, as you're saying, right? Because I feel that this year's going to be like 1986, man, when, you know, all this masterpiece got released, man. It's like, you know, fucking Among the Living, you know, Master Puppets, all that shit, you know, came out. So 20th is going to be pr- probably the same right i mean i'm not saying it's gonna it's gonna be the same quality of those those records but um Volume. you know there's gonna be a lot of records coming out man i mean i know creator's gonna come out with a new record uh i think in may or something and That's uh right. violence is putting out their new ep so yeah. i know there are gonna be a lot of bands coming out with records and uh this is gonna be the same thing for touring i mean for us underground bands it's, it works a little different though because i mean you have the festivals and whatnot, but people still have to go to the bars, man. They have to still go to the pubs in England, whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want to fucking call it, man. And uh, they still got to go out there, man. I mean, they still want to have a beer with their buddies and 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 have a good time. So, regardless if they're gonna go to the festival and see the bands that they like, they'll still have to go out for a beer and pay, you know, a five dollar ticket for you know, to see the live bands coming out. And those those you know those shows are gonna be us, man. So. Fuck yeah. Well, and that's going to be the difference maker, too, because let me tell you, I've been in many, many metal bars in my lifetime, and I've been in some where it's all about the drinking, and I've been in some where I'm halfway through my beer, and I'm like, who the fuck is this band? Holy shit. And dude, I got to tell you, man, anybody who's not already familiar with you guys is about to experience that when you guys hit the fucking stage with this fucking thing, man. Cause... I, I, I hope so, man. I mean, we all, when oh, we play live, we try on. to bring, you know, we... Uh, aggressiveness and, and, and violence, man. Cause the thing is that you got to make the show fun for everybody, not only for you that you're playing, but you got to make it fun for everybody that, you know, to that's coming to watch you. So we, you know, we jump off stage. We have people 
on stage, man, same songs with us. I mean, that's the whole point of you know going to this fucking shows, man. So Fuck yeah. I mean, that that's what we're waiting for, to be honest. That's that's all we're waiting for. I, I've heard the term that's gained a lot of traction here over the last couple of years. The the new wave of old school thrash. And I see, you know, it has a website. I, there's a couple of websites with that name. And I see that you you guys tend to appear on there fairly often. Uh, how do you feel about that uh, title, I guess, if, if for starters? Well, uh, I got I mean, I got to say I'm, I'm, I'm pretty honored, man, because the thing is that I, um, I think that we are, uh, I, I mean, we're a classic thrash metal band. I mean, the bands that are influenced us is just, you know, I mean, Demolition Hammer, Slayer, Sepultura, you know, this kind of band. But, you know, we're also influenced by the, you know, hardcore punk scene, you know, from the 80s, like, you know, Bat Brains, Chromags, and, and, you know, Poison ID and Agent Orange, all those, all those bands. So when we come up and, and, and because I've seen that and a lot of friends always tag us on, on those posts. So it's, it's, it's weird for me, to be honest, to, to, you know, seeing people, you know, talking, you know, really good things about the band. But it's, at the same time, it's, it's cool, man. I mean, and I, and I like it. I just, I, you know, I don't know about the whole new wave of old school thrashing because I'm, I don't, you know, I don't know if we fit right in there because a lot of people say that we're just a, a punk band playing uh, heavier riffs. That's it. <laughs> a, a punk band with better riffs. But you know, I, that's, I, th- I find both of those statements to be true. Honestly, new wave of old school thrash, I think is accurate. And, and a punk band with, with thrash riffs is also accurate because False Democracy, for example, on the new record, which, again, I got to hear already, you guys, so (laughs) pre-order this. But False Democracy is almost a straight-ahead punk rock song, man. I mean, it's a fucking, it's got a killer riff behind it, which does elevate it for sure. But, I mean, that's a punk. It's got a punk message. It's got a punk feel to it, you know. What do you say to that? That's the thing, man. I mean, like, you know, when uh, when I wrote the album, man, I, uh, you know, I was listening to a lot of Poison ID. I was listening to a lot of... Uh, what do you call this thing? Uh, misfits and shit like that. And uh, I was, you know, I usually tend to go towards the uh, what's happening with with our countries. I guess corruption is everywhere. You know, poverty and crime is is going up again. It's, it's so here in Latin America, you know, we see a different type of 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 reality that most of the countries, I guess, uh, in Europe don't see. I get, and it's just crazy. I mean, like people disappear, people get killed by their own governments, shit like that, and. I know all of us, you know, we have, I guess, a fa- a, a fantastic, you know, idea of what democracy is because we go out and we vote for our people that we think they're going to do good for the country. But at the same time, those people that are there to, you know, that we're voting for them, they're pre-selected for us. You know what I mean? I mean, somebody already put them there, people in power, That's put right. you know, put the people yeah. that we need to vote for them. So they already have a corporate sticker on that ass by the time you hear that exactly name. and yeah. either or either if you go for this guy or this guy it's exactly the, the exact same fucking thing i mean you're right. voting for somebody that was pre-selected for you and all you got to do is you know either choose the i guess the red or blue pill i mean whatever poison you know right. you want you want you want you want to take they're happy with either one you take as long as you take one of them exactly, exactly. Yeah. i mean there's no right. there's no other there's no other way around them so that's right. the reason of the title Right. Well, dude, let's be honest, you know, well, that's the reason with a lot of your titles, honestly, inequality is, you know, well, that that's a, a, a theme with you guys. Even you've you've taken a healthy dose of not just thrashy and punk approach to your music, but thrashy and punk approach to your lyrical content as well, because you guys definitely are, you know, big government is coming to get you kind of thing. And you better keep an eye on those motherfuckers or they're going to stick it in your butthole and you know what I mean? That those are that's as entrenched with thrash as a riff itself. I would say is that unhealthy bucket. You know that good healthy distrust of government. What you know? What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean, I mean the thing is that um, I feel that you. I mean, you got to make music that is not only, I guess, appealing as far as the music goes, but the lyric, the lyrical content has to be a part, man. So sure. you got to make music. Uh, music that has a message i mean at least to me man that's what i think you know gonna make music that it makes right. you think that you know you when you read the lyrics you you, you know you can say you know what is that is that's the fucking true man i mean what oh, am yeah. i doing or something like that i mean that's, right. that's the thing and inequality and in, and in, in this record i feel that we kind of matured a little bit more we i i guess what you know when i was writing the lyrics i uh i i thought uh, I, I thought a little bit better what i wanted to say and uh the way that i wanted to say it and uh, it's just exposing what happens, man. It's just, it's just that I see, you know, what I see on a daily basis is what I put on the lyrics, pretty much. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. So, 
So there's a good healthy dose of anger in there as well. You're telling me because, you know, a theme around here is anger goes with a functioning brain. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> exactly, man. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, with common sense, at least, you know, we, we try to bring a lot of topics that maybe not a whole lot of thrashers bring out to the table, like, you know, uh, suicide, uh, um, I guess, you know, the, the thing that's common, unfortunately, in Latin America is a lot of, well, and also, well, it's seen in other parts of the world is, you know, girls getting killed by, by their husbands or their significant others. And, you know, people just, you know, don't want to talk about it. Uh, yeah, man. You know, so those, those type of things, you know, it's always good to bring to the table. You know, we're becoming corporate slaves pretty much. We work, we work and we work, you know, the uh, time for retirement just keeps getting up, man. I mean, yeah. it was... Uh, Back in the, I guess back in the 60s and 70s, it was like 50 years old, 60 years old, and now we're going up to even 70, and we don't have a pension, we don't have nothing. So, we, you know, we're just, you know, modern day slaves, man, pretty much. I mean, it's the fastest world, dude. We talk about which country is the fastest. The whole world is fastest, my friend. Corporation yeah. took over a long, long time ago while we were sleeping. Pretty much. You know? Well, and you know, for those of us. Let's be honest, that draws metalheads is that topic, that the realization of that, the awareness of that. We don't want to go listen to another love song about fucking some chick named Sandy. You know what I mean? We want to talk about, <laughs> uh, you know, we, we want to talk about shit that's more real and more affecting our lives. And I think that's where metalheads kind of come together, man. And, and in that sense, I do believe common sense is going to be a huge soundtrack for these cats, man. I, I really can't wait for this thing to hit the world, brother. I really can't. I hope so, man, because the thing is that, you know, we've been asleep for, for quite some time. And for I sure. guess two years, you, people say that two years go fast, but, you know, I don't I don't feel like that, man. Honestly, not these two. No, not, these, <laughs> not these two years, man. I right. mean, we've been fucking home, you know, you know, yeah, being apart shit. from people we love, man. And uh, and you see you see how that affects people, man. So this fucking two years, they, they didn't go that fast. I mean, or not as fast as I thought it was going to be, man. No, man. I, you know, if this was some sort of social experiment put on by the aliens, we failed, brother. We failed. Yeah, I don't know. We totally <laughs> failed, man. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Fuck it, we flunked big time. For sure. We'll collaborate on our next musical project called We Failed, brother. We'll get together. <laughs> on we'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> Well, that's fucking kick ass, man. Well, let's talk a little bit more about the release date coming up. That is in uh, 12 days from the night this we're airing and talking to everybody out here, man. Our, uh, what is the best way that people can – is that available for pre-order right now? Or is yes. That, talk to me. Band yeah, camp, man. So, um, yeah, you can go to our band camp. It's uh, chemistite.bandcamp.com. We're the only chemistite in the world, so that's a good thing. So you can just put chemistite everywhere, and we'll come up. Our ugly mugs will come up on, on you know on, on social media, whatever. Um, we're bringing out new merch, man. You know, we're bringing out everything that we can pretty much. We uh, actually partner up with four different uh, independent labels across uh, – Across America and, and Europe, we uh, we're we're working with Rip Right Records in Canada. They're gonna put out the record out for uh, Canada, U.S., Japan, and China. So far as in Europe as well. Um, Concreto Records in Mexico, they're gonna put it all in Latin America. Uh, Marquee, they're putting it out in Brazil because Brazil's pretty much a whole fucking continent is just huge. Fuck yeah. Um, the scene and, is on fire right now too. Yeah, right and now. you know they're bringing out bangers every every fucking day, man. So for sure, uh, yeah. we need to, we we definitely need to make a mark there. And uh, sure. Ragnarok Records in Germany, they're putting uh, the record in Germany and uh, most of the parts in Europe. So we're bringing everything out, man. I mean, it's it's gonna be on. You can pre save it on Spotify. You can you know uh, get if you wanna if you wanna support the band, just get on on Bandcamp. Uh, get the merch, get the t shirts, get the sweaters, get the, the hoodies, get baby, whatever yeah. you want, man. Well, we, you know. We get it all. Funny story. I have two chemicide shirts myself. The first one I got, I was 400 fucking pounds for that one. <laughs> so that one's actually part of our decorations in the new studio because it no longer fits me, thankfully. Well, that's um, a good but, thing. Uh... Yeah, but I do have I have an inequality that fits me now as my smaller size. So as so you best believe, as soon as those common sense ones hit the shelves, brother, I'm on it. I'll be there. Yeah, man. Okay. We're um we're working, you know, tirelessly to get new merch out, man. We uh we just put out a few a few t shirts. Um of one of the songs that we the, that we released for the new record, and uh, they flew out of you know, they flew out of the shelves, man. To be honest, and uh, the new common sense uh, teachers are coming out. We're just taking a little longer to make them because we just want to make sure that they have the quality that it's needed for you know for the artwork. So it's gonna they kind of I think they're gonna come up on uh, March twentieth. To be honest, so oh, cool. once right on. once we got them. Uh, when was again? When was again? Uh, you can just get it on our Bandcamp site, and that's it. You know, you get it. We will ship it out anywhere in the world. 
Well, I per- I have you guys set up where whenever you put something on Bandcamp, it alerts me. So it I'll notifies there, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. That's and- what you got to do. Just follow the band, and it'll it'll it'll, it'll hit you with a message, man. Fuck yeah. That's what you got to do. And follow this band, Chemicide. Follow them on YouTube. Follow them on Facebook. Follow them on Instagram. Follow them on Bandcamp and pick up some merch, man. I'm telling you, I'm a big, big fan of the band, sir. And even more than that, I'm a big, big fan of you, man. I appreciate your time hanging out with us, Frankie, man, for real. Nah, Maybe man. I, I, I appreciate, you know, I appreciate you guys and having me on back in the show. I mean, again, I've told you this before, but to me, man, it's it's just it's 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 very important that you know to have this you know this little spaces with you guys to you know to connect with you and and connect with the people that listen to your show. Because I mean, let's be honest. I mean, all the big bands they have their own platforms and you know and and their own shit to go through. But you know, for us underground bands, you know, connecting with people, connecting with you guys, especially, makes a difference. So, you know, it's it's an honor. Honestly, man, I love you, brother, for real. And I'll tell you, all these metalomaniacs. They're much more plugged in and want to hear from the underground bands these days, man. You know, they, that's who they want to hear. That's the, you, you catch other guys they want to hear from. And Oh, man, I appreciate it. All of you metalheads out there, pick up and pre-order your copy of Common Sense. Because this, I, I literally just got through listening to it from start to finish right before Frankie and I talked. I swear to you on my life, I could not be more excited about this release, man. It's going to be the soundtrack of the summertime for a lot of you thrashers out there, man. You thrashers who like the old school feel to your shit, you're about to have or, or eargasms out of your fucking <laughs> out of your fucking head holes, man. For real, I mean it, brother. Uh, I, you know, I appreciate that, man. I really, I, I really do. I'm just, you know, I'm just very excited that the album's going to come out, you know, very shortly, and and I just want to go out and tour it, man. That's it. That's, I want to hit the road, man. Fuck yeah! Well, I hope to see you on stage, my friend, very soon. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Hey, Frankie, thank you for coming by too, brother. Yeah, man. Uh, again, it's an honor, man. I appreciate it. We'll hit everybody right now in the face with a banger from the brand new upcoming yes, release, Common Sense. Hey, guys, this is Frankie from Chemicide. You're listening to Metalomania with the Crypt and Scully.
You are a madman. <laughs> I want to party with you, cowboy. <laughs>